What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined with hey, Jonathan. Uh, we are at BMW and uh, we're both kind of curious to how much, like we've always, we're kind of curious how much an individual paint job yeah. costs. So we've heard of like around 10,000. Some people say 7,000, some people say 10,000. Yeah. I really don't know. And I figured like, hey, we have one, we have the VIN number, we can go ahead and give it to them and they can give us the full price breakdown of how much this car costs. Maybe there's some extra hidden fees as yeah. well. I'm wondering, a typical, how much was a F80? I think they were like, I think like, they were around 75,000. Brand new? I think brand new they were around 70 to 75. I believe. Okay. I believe. Maybe around okay. 68. I think it around 68. I think it was around 68, roughly. 68. I remember it was somewhere in the 60s. But I mean, yeah. let's, let's see. I mean, we're about to find out the base cost and we're going to find out all the, all the, this thing's actually not too heavily specced out, uh, but it does have the red interior. I know the manual, manual. is not, uh, I think it's an upgrade, right? The manual's an upgrade. I okay. And then it has obviously the individual paint and the carbon roof. So yes. we're about to find out how, how much everything costs. I am so, so, so curious. Yes. So I mean, I remember about the 7 Series, apparently that was an $80,000 car. Oh, so $80,000 for, for that piece. <laughs> That's a hoopty. So let's go ahead, check inside, get the whole yeah. spec sheet. Um, yeah, maybe check out what kind of cars they got here as well. Sheesh! Oh my god, that's wide. That's the thing I love about the F80s, guys. It just looks so much more wider. Bro, the seats are different. Do you see those seats? Those are not like my 435 seats. It's a 440, I'm assuming? 430. 430, okay. So it's like a, the four cylinder, right? We got another one chilling right here, but this is the thing right here. The i8, so this is actually a 2019. It looks pretty much identical to mine. Obviously, mine has a lot more upgrades to it, but I mean, in, in terms of aesthetically, you will never know that mine's is a 2016 compared to this 2019. It just has that. It just says coupe on it, which is crazy. Yeah, it just has that. Other than that, I mean, everything else is pretty much identical. Would you, would you and uh, for yeah, this one's 120. Anyhow, oh, also the vents are a little different on this one as well. My vents are not the same. Yeah, it's a little bit different. A little different. We also have this X3. M. This is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I wish my mom can get something like this, but this is kind of expensive. Maybe one day, let's see how much something like this is actually going for. 71,000. Oh boy, okay, okay. But I mean, guys, just look at that quality. That is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if my mom ever has this one day, one day, one day, guys, everyone's dream is to get their parents their dream cars. And I, I know my mom would absolutely love this car. Not right now, maybe in the near future, but not right now. This is an Austin Yellow M4. I know Jonathan, this is probably one of his dream colors right johnny this is jonathan's favorite so yeah yeah this was actually the competition package how much does something like this go for honestly um somewhere in the ballpark oh 62 it's actually not too shabby i mean obviously the g80s are now out now so i mean i would expect it to be a little bit cheaper but other than that i mean this is still a gorgeous car i'm assuming the miles has to be low uh, extended leather dash heads up display something we're gonna have to retrofit into our f80 because we actually don't have the heads up display and we don't have the extended leather this actually has quite a bit of options as well um um, yeah, this is actually a very, very, very nice car. Ooh, yeah, the competition seats. These look so, so, so good. All right, let's head in, get the quotes. How much this F80 Atlantis Blue individual actually costs, especially with this exact spec? We're about to find out, about to find out. Let me just get the VIN number real quick. Just got out of BMW, guys. Here's the full spec sheet. Let's go ahead and uh, just take you guys somewhere so we can go ahead and go over this. Guys, actually, we're heading back to BMW because the spec sheet they gave us, I don't know why I didn't really look at it, but it is completely false. I don't know why, but like all the numbers that were on there, I mean, I just don't believe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back because it literally basically said that the only thing the previous owner paid for it was the paint job. They didn't even care about the manual thing. They didn't care about the carbon trim. They didn't care about the heated seats, the heated rear seats, the red interior. Like none of that was accounted for. So we're gonna go ahead, head to BMW and see if we can get like an actual true sticker price. And we finally found a place that we can go in and discuss the price of this car. So honestly, um, it turns out after going to BMW and talking with their managers, uh, I went back and I was like, hey, this doesn't really seem accurate. And he was like, actually, it is accurate. And I was like, really? And something that I really didn't know about, especially when buying all my cars, I used to always look for the cheapest car of any spec. If I was getting a 330i or a 335, I was always looking for the cheapest one of that car because I was like, hey, if I can get a 335 for like 15,000 bucks, that's great. Instead of one for 25,000 bucks with a lot of options, I can just retrofit the options that I want. Long story short, what I found out, honestly, because 335 is like a brand new one, I think it was about like 35 to $40,000 for a brand new 335. 
Okay, 33, 35,000 for a base model. Now, if you want to get the M Sport package and you want to get all the options, you're looking somewhere in the ballpark around $60,000. And this is where it kind of gets crazy because a $60,000 is a fully loaded 335, brand new. Um, an M3 starts at 63,000 and you get the full M kit, obviously, because it is an M car. You get the engine, you get the transmission, you get the suspension, you get what a real M car is. And it turns out it comes with like carbon fiber trim. It comes with um, Harman Kardon sound system, apparently. Every M3 with the F80 chassis comes with a Harman Kardon sound system. Let me know if I'm wrong, guys, but this is the spec sheet that I end up getting. I'm gonna be as transparent with you guys as much as possible, but yeah, this is basically the spec sheet. It says the car was originally $63,000. The Sakura orange interior, that was a $950 option, and then the lighting package was a $1,900 package, um, and then the, apparently you got some wheels on there. I'm guessing this is the current wheels on the car. That was a $1,200 option, and then apparently, apparently, it comes with comfort access. It comes with a uh, uh, storage package, heated front seats, heated rear seats, um, adjustable front armrest. Uh, I know that one's a, a stock thing for the M cars. But what's really interesting, it's like really, you really get heated rear seats as like a, a factory option on this. I'm not really too sure. Is comfort access really free? Because it says right here, all these options are free. And then manual transmission, is that really a free option? I thought, they had an ex I thought that was an extra option. Harman Kardon and sound system is apparently free at all. So honestly, guys, the only thing that's really paid for, which is the main thing you guys want to know, is the Atlantis blue paint job. So a regular metallic color, according to BMW, I just went there to talk to them. It's about $500 for regular paint. And if you get an individual from the uh, from the wholesale, it's about $4,500. But after you actually end up buying, you pay about $5,000 for this particular individual paint. So this paint was $4,500 more than any other metallic paint, which is actually quite high. But it honestly retains its value. So I don't know if that's a bad deal whatsoever. I thought it was like $10,000. So $5,000 is actually a pretty good deal. And this is painted, according to BMW, the guy I spoke with, from the factory. So again, the car was $63,000 after specs and everything like that. It came out to be $72,500. That's before taxes registration. After everything ended up being $80,000 for this car. But honestly, guys, I I'm just looking at all the options. If this all honestly is free, heated rear seats, heated front seats, comfort access, um, you know, Harman Kardon sound system. If this honestly all this stuff is free and it comes with the M car, not to mention that you honestly get M seats, you get the carbon fiber trim. Like if you on if honestly all of that comes with the car, honestly, guys. It may not be in a bad option to honestly initially just buy an M car because they honestly retain value so much better than like a 335 or a 435. Like this video was honestly a very curious video for myself and I found I honestly learned so much. And now I know that if I ever want to buy a brand new BMW, because BMWs depreciate, if I ever want to buy a brand new one, definitely aim to get an M car because you get a lot for the money. You actually get such an amazing car. A lot of those options do come for free. Now with my car, I did also ask BMW how much a key was because it didn't come with the spare key and that was $517, which was like, oh my Lord. Um, car covers, there's not actual a fitted car cover for this car yet. It has not been released. They're actually saying there might be one released later on. And I'm just like, the G80s came out. Is that really true? So I don't know about that either. But they did say that there is no car cover for this right now, like a fitted one. So let me know, guys, if you have, if you found any car covers for this car, link it down below for me. And the last thing is a windshield shade. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen the shade covers that go on the windshield because I don't want to damage my interior or anything like that. So I want to kind of put like a BMW sunshade there. That apparently is roughly around. $65, which is actually not bad at all. So I did go ahead and place an order because I was there and I was like, hey, you know what? Kind of get like something from BMW for the new F80 on the channel. I also did some research before doing this video for you guys and the individual Atlantis blue is 5,000. There's some other individual colors that are more frequent that they actually only charge 2,500. There's some for 3,000 and there's some for even 10,000. There's some colors that BMW won't do at their factory. So if you want a color that BMW has never ever done before and it's not from their factory, I think they're gonna like, I don't know how they do it but there are some ten thousand dollar options and those individual colors are honestly very 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 rare so it really depends about the color you get but this particular atlantis blue is a five thousand dollar option i mean <laughs> you can honestly buy a car for that price so anyhow i'm super super happy with this car let me know guys did i make the right choice with this atlantis blue f80 m3 with the red interior the carbon roof the manual gearbox let me know down below without further ado guys i'll see you guys in the next one at this point guys this is a uh, kind of I'm a, I'm a little bit in the future right now and you guys are about to figure out in the next video where I'm at right now. But for those of you guys who follow me on my Instagram, know exactly what's going down or exactly what's going on tomorrow. So before I conclude the video, there's a little hint, hint. But again, guys, without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.